All right, what is good? What is happening, everybody? It is your boy Connor, your primitive AK here, back with another video for you guys today, showcasing you guys a tutorial on how the fastest way to level up every weapon so that way you guys can get your max camo challenges done for every single weapon category so you can get that beautiful polyatomic camo and Orion camo inside of MW2. If you guys are into the channel, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. You guys have been killing it on the support on the channel. I really do appreciate all the love and support. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit that sub button as it's completely free and helps the channel grow and gives me more motivation and make more videos for you guys so showcasing you guys just what i have maxed out so far so far i have two of the ars both gold and also maxed out and also i also have my shotguns leveled up to a decent a decently high amount and this was all within just a few hours of play time i've been focusing a lot on getting videos out for you guys so i haven't played as much as i'd like to but as you can see the lockwood i have completely maxed out and gold by the way i have the bryson maxed out and also gold and also the expedite well is fairly close to being maxed out as well and i'm probably, probably wondering how do you level up weapons a lot faster it's actually fairly easy there's no tricks or anything like that and also in case you guys are curious i am not using any of my double weapon xp tokens you guys can see here i still have all of my tokens i haven't used any of these at all there's just kind of no point using them and there's a certain game mode that you guys are going to need to play and it's going to be the invasion game mode now you're probably wondering why would i play invasion game mode because killing the bots doesn't count towards uh your kill streaks and it usually doesn't count towards score as well come to find out when you kill bots inside of the invasion mode this actually counts towards leveling up your weapon killing a bot actually counts as killing a full human player uh, when you get XP towards your weapon. Not entirely sure why that is. I don't know if it's intentional or not intentional, but uh, it does actually count towards leveling up your weapon. And uh, I'm going to show you guys just a quick little clip so you guys can see that it does actually help a fairly decent amount. Um, but yeah, the, make sure you guys are playing the invasion version of ground war not ground war ground war this one is 32 v 32 and the invasion is 20 v 20 with about 20 bots on the other team as well so do bear that in mind but uh yeah that's pretty much it there's no crazy tricks or tips or anything like that it's really just get as many kills as you can farm those bots um for those that are curious the bots are marked as small little dots on your mini map as to the bigger dots uh when you have the uav up that show human players so do bear that in mind but i do have a clip here so you guys can see just how fast this actually is and i didn't even get that many kills and i managed to get a shotgun from level one to level five in just one game and uh like i said i barely got any kills that game i wasn't even playing very well uh but yeah let's go ahead and showcase that real quick so you guys can see that in action all right so we're loading us into a game complete level one loadout as you guys can see weapon is level one so you guys see there's no bs going on nothing like that the time is currently 1107 p.m eastern standard time we're going to come back and then check the time once we finish this game and see exactly how far we can get this weapon leveled up. All right, let's see how many levels I gained from that match. Two, three, four. That could have been a lot more. Before in just one game of invasions, actually not bad. And for those that are curious, the time is now 11:21, so you guys know that there's no BS, nothing like that. So, yeah, it was about a 13-minute game for about four levels. I can definitely do a lot better than that. It was just kind of a uh, slow game. Nobody was really moving. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. Hopefully, you guys learned something new from this tutorial. And uh, if you have any other tips that I didn't mention in this video, leave it leave it down in the comments box so you can help your fellow players out, help them learn something new as well. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out of here. Peace out, fellas.